Hello, this is Caroline Middlebrook, and you are watching the video version of the ebook Developing Money Making Niche Sites with WordPress. This video is all about creating the actual content for your site. Um, there's a couple of things that we need to do here first. In the settings area, we need to change something called the permalinks. Now, by default, this is the link structure for your site. By default, um, it uses this notation here where it has a question mark and a P equals and some number. The idea of these niche sites is that they attract traffic um, via the search engines, which means we want to be optimizing our pages for particular keywords. None of these do this particularly well. We've got options to put dates in here. We don't want dates because we're only going to be putting a few pages of information. It's not going to be constantly updated. So we need to use a custom structure. And it's this, which is a post name with a slash and that little symbol whose name escapes me. And where is the save button? Save changes. What that does is it takes the name of your post and it encodes that into the URL. So your the title for your um, page or post becomes the URL for that particular thing. That's what's going to show up in the search engines. That's what will get indexed. Now, another issue that I need to discuss, which has been highly debated in my ebook version, is whether or not to put your articles as posts or pages. As I mentioned in the introductory video, the idea of a niche site is it's just a small website with a few pages, you build it, and then you leave it. This is not a blog. But some people prefer to write their articles as blog posts rather than pages to get some of the benefits that go with it. The main benefit which is argued is that when you publish a blog post it gets distributed around the internet with something called a pinging mechanism so it can appear in places such as Technorati, it's more likely to get indexed more quickly in Google and so forth but my opinion is that you're only going to have a few pages of content so that benefit is very small and if you do get to a point at some um, some point later on where you want to add a blog to the site, for example, if one particular niche site starts to do extremely well, you might want to grow it from just the small niche site that it is into something more of an authority, then you might want to add a blog. If you've already got, say, a dozen blog posts sitting there from some months ago, for example, that's going to confuse things a bit, so I prefer to just use pages. Now, for the content here, I've got some PLR content. PLR just means private label rights. Um, this is just simply content that I've got the rights to use. Um, I didn't write any of it. I don't know very much about cigars myself. And I've got a particular article here. Four tips for lighting a cigar. Now this isn't particularly good. It's quite short. But I'm just going to use it anyway. Hopefully we're in here now. Yes we are. Okay, I'm just going to quickly copy this in. and then show you a couple of things to do. Now, first of all, you see here this permalink. This has appeared now because we've changed the permalink structure. And as you can see, I think you can just about see that, it's taken the name that we've used into here and it's replaced each space character with a dash. Now, presumably you've already done your keyword research and let's say the phrase we're trying to target here is lighting a cigar. As far as titles go, four tips for lighting a cigar is quite good. It's human friendly, it's enticing and so forth. But for SEO purposes, the, the four tips part probably isn't very useful. So what I would do here is I would edit this and I would just call it lighting a cigar. This is known as the page slug. This will be the URL which actually gets saved and published to the internet. I'm not sure if that's saving or not. But anyway, the other thing I want to mention is down here we have a section called comments and pings. Comments are the comments which readers can put and they can put comments on pages and posts. Pings is a what's known as a trackback. If someone else links to one of your posts, um, something appears, it looks a bit like a comment and it shows an excerpt of that. Now, in my opinion, always, always turn these off. 
The reason again is for SEO purposes. We want to um, configure our particular article to be targeted towards a keyword. So in this case it's lighting a cigar. Now I haven't actually looked at this article to see if it's keyword optimized but presumably I would do that. So if you allow readers to come along and just put comments on, they're going to dilute the contents of your page with all sorts of rubbish. And trust me, they will post all sorts of rubbish. So always turn them off. These niche sites are supposed to be small, tightly focused sites with every single page being highly optimized towards one single keyword phrase. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to publish this page so it then appears on the website. My internet connection is going a bit slow today. Okay, now if I come over to Cigar Heaven, I think it's going to appear in the right hand side. Yes. Um, as I mentioned in an earlier video, this particular widget shows the um, all the pages on there. Now I'm actually going to change this in. Um, in another video but for now that's how you create your pages so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create maybe five or six pages um, in preparation for the next video and then I'll show you the next step